highlighting the paramount importance of public safety and the profound repercussions of bail reform, particularly in instances like the tragic demise of Officer Joseph McKinney. It's harder on the poor, it's harder on minorities. This is an attempt to fix that. Shelby County District Attorney Steve Mulroy calls the new bail system a step towards decriminalizing poverty. Under the old system, judicial commissioner would make uh, kind of a off the top of their head determination about bail and was often unaffordable. And then people would languish behind bars at 201 Poplar for months, sometimes even years. Under the new system, people at 201 Poplar will be able to go to a bail hearing courtroom within 72 hours of their arrest. Depending on their financial status, a new bail will be set. And depending on their crime, it could potentially help people avoid waiting for months for a court date. Is this person a danger to the community or is there a significant risk that they'll flee the jurisdiction? If so, we keep them locked up until trial. But if not, then we need to set a bail amount that they can actually afford. However, not everyone feels this is in the county's best interest. Kimberly Charles from All in One Bonding and Insurance tells ABC 24 it's unfair to victims to have people released without recourse and could lead to people becoming repeat offenders due to the jail being a revolving door. But Mulray argues there's no need to worry. There have been studies around the country about both before and after these types of reforms have been implemented, and there has been no significant increase in crime, violent or otherwise, so it's really a very small percentage of people who do this. The delicate equilibrium between individual liberties and societal well-being is brought into question. Bail reform serves as a mirror, reflecting broader social ethos, grappling with concerns over public safety and grappling with the ramifications of policies aimed at rectifying systemic inequities. Lenient bail protocols can yield calamitous outcomes, eroding the endeavors of law enforcement to ensure community security. Critiques of Soros DA Stephen Mulroy's strategy contend that the abolition of cash bail might sow the seeds of injustice and inequality. There's a palpable risk that individuals of means could exploit the system to evade accountability for their actions. This underscores the inherent injustice within the judicial framework, which privileges financial prowess. Casting doubt on a system that perpetuates disparities and relegates certain demographics based on their economic standing. Soros DA Stephen Mulroy's risk evaluation approach in cases involving potentially hazardous individuals, such as Jalen Lobley underscores the necessity for a more stringent assessment of risk factors to shield the community from harm.